Please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. On the court is now in session. L'audience est ouverte. And for today's proceedings, we will hear the testimony of a civil party through TCP 303. And the GFG, Ms. Sakalwati, could you report the attendance of the parties and individuals through today's proceedings? Sakalwati. Good morning, Mr. President. For today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present. As for Noon Chi, he is present in the holding cell downstairs as he waves his right to be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the Grefi, and the civil party through TCCP 303 is ready to be called by the chamber. Today, we do not have a reserve witness. Thank you. President, thank you. The chamber will now rule on a request by a new chair. The chamber has received a waiver from new chair to be present in the courtroom. It is dated 12 February 2015, who states that due to his poor health condition, due to back pain and dizziness, and that he cannot concentrate for long. And in order to effectively participate in the future hearings, he he requires to have his rights to participate in and be present in the courtroom today. And Nunchi has been informed by his counsel about the consequence of this waiver that in no way it can be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly or to challenge evidence presented or admitted to this court at any time during this trial. The Chamber has also received a medical report by the UG doctor at the ECCC Dated 12 February 2015, who notes that the health condition of the accused is that he has a backache and cannot sit for long, and recommends that the chamber shall allow him to follow the proceedings remotely from a holding cell downstairs. Based on these about information, and in pursuant to Rule 8135, the Chamber grants Nunti's request to follow the proceedings from a holding cell downstairs by an audio-visual means, and that applies for today's proceedings. And as Nunti waves his right to be present in the courtroom, the AB unit is instructed to link the proceedings to the holding cell downstairs so that Nunti can follow the proceedings remotely, and that applies for today's proceedings. Court officer, could you usher the civil party through TCCP 303 into the courtroom?
Good morning, Mr. Civil Party. What is your name? Parti Civil, bonjour. Comment vous nommez-vous? Civil Party. Good morning, Mr. Bonjour, President. My name is Ri Bou. Ri Bou. President, thank you. Le Président, je vous remercie. Uh, can you tell the court when vous you were born? Chambre, quelle est votre date de naissance? Civil Party. Parti Civil. I was born in 1957. Je suis né en 1957. Question. Can you tell the court uh, where vous was dire your place of birth? Quel est votre lieu, lieu de naissance? Answer. Réponse. I was born in uh, Priyo, Kiribung, Priyo, Takeo province. province de Takeo. Question. And Question. where is your current address? Quelle est votre adresse actuelle? And so currently, Réponse. I live in Priel, Kiribung, Takeo province. Kiribung, province de Takeo. Question. Question. Were you born uh, elsewhere or you were born at uh, your current uh, place? And so I was born actuelle. in Priel village, Saum commune, Kiribung district, Takao province. Saum, Question, Kiribung, province de what Takeo. is your current occupation? Question, quelle est votre profession aujourd'hui? Answer, Réponse. I am a rice farmer. Je suis, je cultive du riz. Question from 17 April 1975 Entre to 6 January 79, where did you live and what did you do? Vous and uh, Réponse. before 75, Avant 1975, I lived in Priel village, Saum commune, Kiribong district of Kiribong province. District de Kiribong, province de Takeo. President, President, I asked you about the period of Democratic Kampuchea, that is from 17 April 1975 through 7 January 79, where you were and what you did during this period. Answer. After 17 April 1975, Après le 17 avril 1975, I went to uh, live in Vietnam, Vietnam. and by February et en 1976, 1976, I was exchange il y a eu un échange et to come and live in Cambodia, pour vivre au Cambodge, in Thanao Chum village, dans le village de by a commune, Tramco district. Takao province. Pok Trabek, dans le district Question, de Tramkov, what is your father's name? Question, quel est le nom de votre père? Answer, my father Réponse. is Ri Kao. Mon père se Question, nomme Ri Kao. and your mother's name? Question, et votre mère? Answer, Réponse. her name is Ngai Sup. Question, and what is your wife's name and how many Question, children do you have together? And so, uh, my Réponse. current wife is Chum Ran and Ma we have three children. Rap, Ram, et nous avons trois enfants. President, thank you, uh, Mr. Ripo. And as a, a civil party, the chamber will give you an opportunity at the end of your testimony to make a statement of impact about the suffering inflicted upon you as during the Democratic Cambodia period if you wish to do so. And you also have the right to uh, put a question if uh, you want to do through si the chamber. 
par le truchement de la Chambre, conformément à l'article 91 bis du règlement de civil parties ont été combined time for the lead crow lawyers and the prosecution is for one full morning session and you may proceed. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour à tous. Bonjour, Monsieur la partie civile. Je vais vous poser un certain nombre de questions et je laisserai ensuite la parole à mon confrère, Lord Chonti. Ma première question, Madame, Monsieur la partie civile, pardon. Où habitiez-vous le 17 avril 1975 Before 17 April 1975, I was living in Priel Village, Saum Commune, Kirivong District, Takao Province. Kirivong, Province de Takao. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Vous souvenez-vous à quel moment Do you remember when vous avez déménagé you moved euh, en Kampuchea Krom uh, into Kampuchea Krom. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Savez-vous si Do votre you know déménagement if your move est arrivé occurred longtemps, pas longtemps, long time, or not après so long, le 17 avril 1975. That is true. By 1976, en 1976, j'ai fait partie du programme pour que je vienne habiter au Cambodge. Et à ce je suis venu habiter à village, au village commune, Tramkok district, district de Tramkok, province de Takeo. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Où habitiez-vous, vous et Where votre famille, you living, you and your entre family, avril 75 et le moment où vous avez moment, uh, été l'objet de ce programme d'échange uh, dont you, vous parlez uh, by the Khmer Rouge who sent a Vietnamese to Vietnam. I was brought in to live in Thanh Chum village for about uh, 10 days and then I was assigned to a, a mobile unit in Khmer Po. And after that, I was forced to work hard day and night to dig canals to build dams and to spin water wheels and I was deprived of food and I was not given sufficient clothing. Thank you. Vous ramener un peu I'm plus tôt dans le temps et essayer de vous poser des questions revisit, précises uh, sur le programme d'échange que vous avez mentionné. Je voulais savoir pourquoi votre famille a pris la décision de partir dans le cadre de ce programme d'échange. Uh, 
I fled to Vietnam Je me suis and au Vietnam. because my parents missed uh, our native uh, country and I heard that we would be uh, sent back to uh, Cambodia. Then together with uh, several other families, we uh, returned to live in uh, Cambodia and we didn't know anything about the killing by the regime. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Pourquoi vous êtes-vous enfui au Why Vietnam? Why did you escape to Vietnam? Before we fled to Vietnam, Cambodia was in a war situation. Both forces were fighting against the Lonol forces. And wherever the purple, the forces uh, reach, they would burn people's houses and destroy the, the village. And that we could then uh, bear the situation, situation along with other Cambodian people living along the border of Eiffelet. Donc, si je vous comprends so, bien, Monsieur la partie civile, vous avez fui au Vietnam, you fled to Vietnam vous y êtes resté you quelques mois, jusqu'à février 1976, nous avez dit tout à l'heure, et c'est à ce, ce moment-là que vous et votre famille avez décidé de rentrer to au Cambodge to par le biais de ce programme d'échange. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris program? la chronologie correct? des événements uh, do I have the events in the right order? That is uh, correct. Exact. At that time, I didn't know anything about the policies à of the uh, Khmer Rouge. Together with the other uh, Cambodians who fled to live in Vietnam. Nous avons fui au Vietnam avec and then we heard about the, the exchange and we didn't think much about it as we were only thinking about our homeland. Nous avions, nous so we decided to return. Merci. Thank you. Comment avez-vous entendu How parler de ce programme d'échange Quelles étaient les personnes qui vous who ont parlé de ce programme, programme? were getting along a while uh, along the, the border, and I didn't know Paul why there was a, such an exchange program. Nous avons entendu parler de ce programme d'échange. Then we heard uh, the Khmer Rouge uh, agents or representative who made uh, contact uh, with Nous the Vietnam authorities to exchange uh, for Cambodians to come to, uh, to uh, Cambodia and the Vietnamese to return to Vietnam. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Est-ce que vous pouvez expliquer à la Cour les informations qu'on vous avait données à l'époque pour vous présenter ce programme d'échange. Vous dites que des Khmer Rouge sont venus vous parler de ce programme. Qu'est-ce qu'on vous disait pour vous inciter ou pas à faire partie de ce programme the Khmer Rouge uh, made uh, contact with the uh, Vietnamese side and I didn't know much about uh, what was happening. But then the uh, Vietnamese uh, officials informed us that uh, we, the Cambodian people, uh, would, be, uh, would be returned to Cambodia as part of the exchange program. So we, who fled from Cambodia, uh, discussed and agreed to return nous together to our homeland. Est-ce que vous saviez dans you know quel village vous alliez to which village you were going to return, and what would be the living conditions in this village? Did you return to the same place where you were living before you left for Vietnam? Did you return to the same place where you were living before you left for Vietnam? Did you return to the same place where you were living before you left for Vietnam? 
before before I went to uh, Vietnam, I was living in Ampi Swai, Lettri Commune, Swai Trong District. And when I returned, I lived in Knao Chum, Pok Trok Maik, Tram Kok District, Takai Province. Je reviendrai sur cette information plus tard, mais je voudrais que vous nous expliquiez un peu comment ce départ, ce retour vers le Cambodge s'est déroulé. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si vous êtes parti en, en, en camion, en voiture, si vous étiez escorté par des soldats ou non Est-ce que vous êtes parti avec plusieurs familles ou est-ce que vous étiez seul Est-ce que vous pouvez nous expliquer comment s'est passé ce départ During the exchange, there were uh, many uh, Cambodians on the uh, Vietnamese side, and upon our arrival at, uh, Vietnam, at Phnom Dan, or Dan Mountain, the Khmer Rouge told us that we had to stay there overnight, awaiting the arrival of uh, the upper Onka. And montagne, next morning, the vehicle came là, to transport us. Lendemain, and it was a CMC uh, truck, and there were about CMC. 10 of them. And we were not uh, transported yeah. to uh, one location as we as, uh, Five vehicles were sent to uh, one cinq location and the rest were sent elsewhere. Un endroit, les cinq autres ailleurs. Nous n'avons pas tous été emmenés au même endroit. Vous souvenez-vous le nombre de familles ou de personnes qui ont fait partie de ce programme d'échange avec vous President uh, Civil Party, please wait for the Louis microphone to be activated first. Civil, Civil Party, I can uh, recall uh, some of them. La Je me de to my eux. knowledge, the number of people who fled to live in, in Vietnam from my village, there were 1,000 families and we were uh, put into uh, one location in uh, uh, Vietnam. And we were given some necessities by the American organization as we were considered refugees. So I still recall that there were about 1,000 to 1,500 families. And when we returned to Cambodia, we were divided into three different phases. Nous avons été divisés. And for my uh, batch, I traveled first with other Et families, and then there were other batches who would be returned later. D'autres groupes allaient suivre. Je vous remercie, Monsieur la partie civile. Civil Pour revenir un peu plus tôt. Dans Going la chronologie des événements, uh, je voulais savoir si vous aviez like pu emporter avec vous euh, des choses personnelles personal euh, objects, lors de ce, de ce voyage. Est-ce que vous aviez pu prendre avec vous des, vos possessions, you votre argent, les euh, vêtements Est-ce que vous pouvez nous raconter Can comment ça s'est passé Uh, when we returned to Cambodia, all Lorsque of us Cambodge, sold our cows, uh, water buffaloes, or horses in order to get the money détails, for, vaches, uh, to make our trip uh, back home. Pour de pour pouvoir notre and when we arrived at the place where we were allowed to, to rest, 
the Khmer collected all the belongings, including money and uh, jewelry, and we were told that you, we would be fed by Onka. So everything that we, we received from the sales of the cattle were all collected by the Khmer Rouge. Obtenu en vendant notre bétail a été pris par les Khmer Rouges. Je vous remercie. Pouvez-vous nous décrire le passage de la frontière Vous nous avez indiqué que vous étiez euh, en plusieurs véhicules, qu'il y avait en tout euh, 1500 familles, si j'ai bien compris. Euh, comment s'est passé le, le passage à la frontière Et y avait-il des familles également de l'autre côté qui faisaient le voyage inverse families on the other side of the border crossing into Cambodia as well. But, uh, and so, at that time after the exchange, we crossed the border and it was closed and no uh, entry or uh, departure from the uh, Uh, the border, so it was prohibited de de any entry after the exchange program. Avez-vous vu à l'époque des familles faire at le chemin inverse et traverser la frontière dans l'autre sens? Ou étiez-vous, vous et votre groupe, les seuls à traverser la frontière du Vietnam au Cambodge? Direction. Were you with your families? Answer, yes, it is true. When we arrived at Phnom Penh, the Khmer Rouge soldiers strictly prohibited any movement at that area, and uh, they were on strict guard duty, and they told people not to move anywhere out, outside of their uh, area. Est-ce qu'à l'époque, vous aviez, vous et votre famille, est-ce que vous étiez surpris quand vous êtes arrivé au Cambodge et que l'on vous a confisqué, comme vous le dites, votre argent euh, Quel était votre, votre sentiment à l'époque quand vous êtes arrivé We hope that we return to our homeland, but later, when we were transported to Thnau Chirum, after the confiscation of our property, we feel very regret and we were sorry our happy life in our home in Cambodia Krom. Because we had no idea when we were there that um, our property will be confiscated and we will be exposed to forced labor, we, we would uh, suffer uh, common eating until we uh, face the real situation in Cambodia. Je vous remercie. Je voulais savoir si vous vos parents ou d'autres membres de votre famille étaient rentrés au Cambodge avec des papiers d'identité, des cartes d'identité, et si oui, ce qu'il était arrivé à ces papiers d'identité. At that time, uh, we had no identity card. Um, uh, all people and person who is uh, uh, 20 years or, or more would have a, a, a card, a black card. And uh, anything like ID card or uh, document were collected and burned out. Uh, they did not allow us to carry with us for future reference or anything. Juste pour bien comprendre, à quel moment ces papiers ont-ils été brûlés? Your testimony. Tell us when were those documents burnt? 
answer. When they collected from us, they uh, piled and they burned them out in front of us, including the uh, card and other uh, documents related to uh, identity and also um, currency uh, were also uh, burned out. And they told us that uh, Anka will take care of you. Et ils nous ont dit que l'Ankar allait s'occuper de nous. And uh, we were told that here we have cooperatives and we have um, a collective Ankar and you all will be uh, um, ready to, to receive meals and uh, accommodation provide, to be provided by Ankar. Don't worry. Pouvez-vous nous dire, Monsieur la Partie civile, euh, avec quel membre de votre famille vous avez fait ce trajet, ce retour au Cambodge Which of your family members accompanied you on your return to Cambodia? Answer, if you want me to uh, list down, I forget uh, some of them. Uh, because there were many members in my uh, family, I remember only my parents' names. Il y avait de personnes dans ma famille. Je ne me souviens que des noms de mes parents. Aviez-vous des frères et sœurs à l'époque avec qui vous êtes retourné au Cambodge? Did you have any brothers and sisters at the time with whom you returned to Cambodia? Respect, uh, respond. Yes, uh, they uh, return along with me, but oui. after 10 days, um, they were separated and sent to uh, work jours, in a unit and um, the female sibling would be sent to a different by their sex and the children were also separated to work in uh, their respective unit and Chacun the parents uh, were also unité. separated to work in their separate unit for um, the region. <laughs> Merci. Donc, vous, vous nous indiquez qu'à votre arrivée au Cambodge, vous vous avez so passé dix jours avec votre famille et qu'à l'issue de ces dix jours, vous avez tous été séparés et envoyés dans des unités différentes. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris Et si oui, est-ce que vous pouvez donner à la Chambre le nom du village ou de la commune où vous avez été envoyé au bout de cette période de dix jours after the 10 days you spent in Cambodia. But mo mo Answer, before we were sent uh, to another place, uh, Thanao Chrompok, Trabek, uh, Tramkok, and Takeo province. Nous avons été envoyés dans le district de Tramkok, la province de Takeo, dans le village de Thanao Chrom, plus précisément. Juste pour euh, évacuer cette question tout de suite, est-ce que vous êtes resté dans ce village ou est-ce que jusqu'en 79, vous avez pu euh, habiter dans d'autres communes ou villages Jusqu'en 1979, ou avez-vous bougé dans d'autres villages dans la commune À ce moment-là, j'ai été envoyé à une unité de and Kabal Po, um, um, we were assigned to do right um, dry season farming and uh, build irrigation dam and canal. But I uh, don't know where my parents were sent to uh, work. Um, I have no idea about that. Avez-vous revu vos parents? Euh, pendant cette période, c'est-à-dire en gros euh, février 76, si j'ai bien compris, qui est le moment où vous rentrez au Cambodge, et euh, janvier 79. Est-ce que vous aviez la possibilité de revoir vos parents, même si vous étiez membre d'une unité itinérante During the regime, there was a um, CPK anniversary, Sous ce régime, nous avons célébré and uh, du PCK. Um, we would 
so we would see our parents, but we dare not uh, ask um, our parents, and our tears just dropping down. So uh, there was a uh, ceremony of the CPK. Pleuré. I don't know what the sp uh, the specific name of that um, an, uh, festival. Donc vous nous expliquez que vous avez revu vos parents so à une reprise durant cette période. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris? On more than one occasion during that period. Did I understand your testimony correctly? Answer: Yes, it is correct. Oui, c'est exact. Je voulais maintenant vous poser un certain nombre de questions sur la façon dont vous étiez traité euh, à Tramcoc. Euh, vous nous avez indiqué tout à l'heure que vous arriviez du Vietnam. Étiez-vous considéré par les Khmer Rouges comme des Vietnamiens Did the Khmer Rouge consider you as Vietnamese? Answer. At that time and at the beginning, we did not know the organization and the internal arrangement. But people were divided into three groups, uh, the 17 April people and the people from Vietnam, they were called Ayun, and another Ayun, group of people were the base people, and uh, this young boy from from the base people, the youth, uh, very bad word to us to call us, call us Ayun or contemptible Ayun or um, contemptible enemy. They were very um, uh, rude. So uh, they keep calling us uh, uh, comrade, but it is not really a good friend. It is a, a kind of a damn friend uh, for us uh, from their mouths. Merci. Donc, si je comprends bien, des trois catégories que vous avez mentionnées, les 17 avril. Les Ayun et les peuples de base, vous faisiez partie de la catégorie des Vietnamiens, des Ayun. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris Je vous remercie. Pouvez-vous nous expliquer les conditions dans lesquelles les Ayun vivaient dans la coopérative de Tramcoc. Our family member and other who returned from Vietnam et and other people who were evacuated uh, called 17 April people were exposed to very miserable uh, treatment. Um, the best people could curse us, could uh, hit us. We could not move anywhere. If we caught some fish, we need to bring to si put in the cooperative. cooperative. So if anyone caught in uh, catching fish without any permission, si and um, they were um, tortured by giving fish to that person to eat in one sit with a large amount of fish, this a kind of a, a torture by On the Khmer Rouge. De poisson. Une forme de torture. Merci. Est-ce que Thank you. la catégorie des Vietnamiens à laquelle vous étiez euh, assimilé et la catégorie du 17 avril avaient les mêmes conditions the April people, de vie, de nourriture, de travail have the same working conditions and did they eat the But, same food? Uh, Answer. The 17 April people and uh, the people from Vietnam were uh, suffering or experienced the same treatment. So uh, the, they were uh, receiving only um, 
10 can full of um, uh, porridge for 100 people so the food was very very little for everyone of us je vous remercie vous nous avez indiqué avoir été euh, membre d'une unité itinérante et ce dix jours après votre arrivée euh, dans la région de Tramcock. Je voulais vous poser quelques questions sur cette unité. Combien de personnes formaient cette unité D'où venait-il Et est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire l'âge des personnes qui étaient membres de cette unité itinérante And sir, during the Khmer Rouge regime, um, people were assigned to different units. Uh, there was children unit, widow unit, um, uncle unit, or farmer, and widower uh, units and uh, production units. But in each unit, uh, it would be called Uh, 50 member unit, there, there were uh, 50 people, dans unité, and uh, the 17 membres. April people and those who were from Vietnam avril, were Vietnam assigned in the same unit, and uh, a group, uh, there would be 12 people headed by Il the base people, so um, they would uh, control every activity, every daily activity, including uh, moving, working, eating, and also uh, sleeping, and so on. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Les Khmer Rouges pouvaient-ils savoir que vous ou d'autres de vos compatriotes étaient des Khmer Krom Y avait-il un moyen pour eux de savoir d'où vous veniez et que vous étiez, selon eux, des Vietnamiens. Everyone ils from si uh, Vietnam, Penh, but si um, they did Vietnam, not um, mistreat anyone from the base people. Ils du de base. Merci. Selon vous, Thank selon you. ce que vous avez pu observer à l'époque, comment savait-il que vous étiez vietnamien Est-ce que, par exemple, quand vous êtes arrivé au Cambodge, vos noms ont été pris Est-ce que des listes ont été faites Est-ce que vous pouvez nous donner des précisions The President, please wait to party. Mr. Coppe, you may proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Merci Good morning, Your Honours Council. Um, I, I waited a little bit with uh, standing up because I'm not, I wasn't clear where the line of questioning is going. Um, apart from the fact that uh, there are some interesting aspects to the testimony itself as to where this uh, uh, witness is coming from, but there's a sort of general question underlying. En outre, il y a aussi and une that is that the segment of this trial, as, as we all know, is um, Trump Kok and Krang Ta Chan. We have a, a separate segment uh, treatment of the Vietnamese as a, as a targeted group. Um, having said that, we also know that there is a history um, at the investigating phase and the pretrial phase leading up et devant la chambre préliminaire, um, il y a eu certains décisions de la chambre préliminaire avec une décision de la chambre préliminaire en date du 27 avril 2010. Uh, all in relation to the question whether the treatment of people from Cambodia Chrome si as Vietnamese, etc. is in fact part of the investigation. Uh, and as I understand it now, but so I, I'm phrasing my objection more in a, in a request for guidance. Are we now circumventing possibly 
the closing order um, because uh, the treatment of Kampuchea chrome as such is not, in, uh, is not part of the closing order, it's not uh, part of the crimes that Nunchi and Kusenpan are accused of. Um, so I'm not quite sure where we are going with this line of questioning. Je me of course, we have no problems with this witness if he testifies to the things that he saw in relation to Trump Kachan si or the general treatment of people Chan. within Trump Kok district. Ou However, if we, step, if we go one step further and go into Trump the treatment of the Vietnamese si and the civil party lawyer is trying si to de la sort of civile include the Kampuchea Krom within this group, then I think we have a legal problem. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to phrase it, maybe a jurisdictional problem or an outside of the scope problem, because the closing order is very clear, that is of course our frame of reference, there is no um, charge against our client in Kyusen Pan in relation to the treatment of Kampuchea Krom. So, um, my question, I suppose, in the form of a request for guidance is, Alors, are we now entering a subject which is in directives? fact outside, not only of the segment of this trial, qui ne relève pas du segment du procès, mais qui ne relève pas non plus de la décision de renvoi. Oui, bonjour Monsieur le Président, je vous remercie de m'accorder la parole simplement pour indiquer morning, que du côté hein, de l'équipe de Cusampan, nous nous associons à cette remarque. Uh, effectivement, il n'y a rien dans uh, l'ordonnance de clôture hein, uh, uh, à ce sujet et uh, je pense qu'il est important uh, de respecter la légalité hein, et de savoir que uh, lorsque uh, des accusés sont poursuivis sur des charges, uh, que l'on puisse simplement évoquer ces charges à l'audience. What we should be examining Monsieur le Président, je vous, je vous remercie de me donner la parole en réponse. Thank you, Mr. President, for giving me the Il semble to clair, euh, dans le cadre du It témoignage de la partie civile, part que euh, les Khmer Krom étaient assimilés à des Vietnamiens. C'est en tout cas ce qui ressort de, de ce qu'il dit. Vous êtes saisi de you crimes de persécution dans la coopérative de Tram Kok. Il nous paraît donc absolument pertinent de poser des questions à cette partie civile pour éclairer la Chambre sur les crimes de persécution, y compris persécution contre les Vietnamiens, qui ont été commis dans la coopérative de Tram Kok. Je n'ai vraiment pas l'impression de sortir de la légalité pour répondre très directement à ma consoeur. Vous êtes saisi de fait. Nous posons les questions à ce témoin, c'est essentiel précisément parce que il y a une décision qui a reconnu le fait que les Khmer Krom n'étaient pas un sous-groupe en tant que tel. Vous devrez nécessairement vous poser la question de savoir si les Khmer Krom sont effectivement assimilés à des Vietnamiens et si dès lors les crimes de persécution euh, peuvent s'appliquer à ces gens. C'est la raison, j'imagine, pour laquelle la Chambre a aussi souhaité entendre cette partie civile. C'est absolument pertinent et je vous, de me, je, vous, je vous demande de me laisser poursuivre cette ligne de questionnement. President, international you may proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, let me make just a couple of remarks. First, um, my friend has, has misstated completely the ruling that occurred uh, at the end of the judicial investigation. Uh, this was an issue that related to whether something that had been filed was would be considered a supplementary submission that added additional regions to the scope of the investigation related to the Khmer Krom. It had nothing to do with Tramcock district uh, at all. Um, second point, the closing order in relation to Tramcock district and the treatment of Vietnamese specifically references the Khmer Krom. There can be no issue at all uh, that this, the testimony of this witness is part and within the closing order. And I would specifically refer you to uh, paragraph 320 of the closing order, uh, which contains allegations about the registration of Khmer Krom people in Tram Krok District uh, and also regarding the exchanges of Khmer Krom with Vietnamese. Um, the last point I would make um, Krang Tachan is an issue here. Anyone that was arrested and sent to Khmer Krom is within the scope here. 
whether they were Vietnamese, whether they were Khmer Krom, whether they were base people, 17 April people. Um, so to suggest that these issues are beyond the scope of the closing order is, I think, entirely incorrect. The President of uh, the Chamber um, uh, will not allow you to respond to the response of the other party. The President, Chet Lavagne, you may proceed with the, the ruling on the um, la de la uh, request and uh, the matter addressed by the party. Président, donc, uh, la chambre décide de rejeter l'objection qui a été soulevée par la défense. Ceci pour plusieurs raisons. Rule. Tout d'abord, les faits euh, sur lesquels témoigne euh, la partie civile aujourd'hui sont des faits qui concernent les conditions d'existence dans les coopératives de Trump-Cac. À ce titre, ils sont déjà pertinents à notre, à notre avis. La deuxième chose, c'est que euh, l'ordonnance de renvoi fait référence à euh, certains faits qui concernent les Khmer Krom. Donc, nous sommes également so, qu'à ce titre les questions posées sont rentrées dans le cadre du procès actuel. Et en dernier lieu, la Chambre tient à rappeler que euh, il est certain qu'elle aura à se prononcer sur qui doit, faire, tout, qui doit être considéré comme faisant partie du groupe des Vietnamiens, à savoir les Vietnamiens de nationalité vietnamienne ou ceux qui étaient perçus en tant que vietnamiens. Donc, les questions euh, concernant cette so, difficulté entrent tout à fait dans le cadre du procès et doivent être débattues. Merci, Monsieur le Président. You, Mr. Monsieur la partie civile, je vous posais Mr. avant cette interruption party, une question euh, asking, relative au, au, au fait de savoir uh, si uh, les Khmer Rouges avaient un moyen de savoir qui était Khmer Krom et qui ne l'était pas. Et je vous posais la question de savoir and si quand vous étiez arrivé à Tramcock, vous avez vu euh, des listes où vous avez été le témoin euh, d'opérations qui permettaient aux Khmer Rouges d'enregistrer euh, les Khmer Krom qui arrivaient. I was considered as animal. Considéré comme un animal. So, uh, 
uh, they did not inform us anything donc, and they did not ne, uh, show us any uh, activity or conduct that um, we can notice or we can know what they are doing. Nous ne pouvions pas savoir ce qu'ils faisaient. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Vous nous avez indiqué un and petit peu plus tôt que dans votre unité, unit, il y avait uh, des Khmer Krom et euh, as well as des membres du peuple nouveau, si j'ai bien people, compris. Est-ce que vous so, connaissiez personnellement, you know à l'époque, les Khmer Krom qui résidaient who were living, dans, euh, qui faisaient partie de votre unité et qui résidaient sur la commune de Kramkok Est-ce que c'est des gens que vous connaissiez Those people who were living uh, with me in the mobile unit, for instance, I uh, know some of them. And for the 79 people, I also know uh, some of them. However, the event happened more than 30 years ago, so I cannot recall most of the names. And if I see them face to face, then my memory may come back. So, uh, as I just said, I cannot uh, tell you all the names of the people that I knew at the time. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Je voulais savoir si pendant la période où vous étiez à Tramcock, entre, en gros, février 1976 vous aviez assisté à des arrestations. During the Khmer Rouge period, and we went to work at various work sites, digging canals or building dams. And at those work sites, more people from all over places in Dhaka province came to work there as well. And we worked together there on the issue of the arrest or mistreatment. Of course, it happened on a daily basis. However, let me stress that at the time they didn't use the word uh, being arrested, they, uh, was, they, they told us they, those people were sent for re-education and we, we knew what would happen to them and we were very uh, scared, but we didn't dare ask them any question. During the time we did not have any rights to, to a free speech. Quand vous dites que vous saviez bien ce qui arrivait aux gens qui étaient envoyés pour être rééduqués, pouvez-vous être plus, plus précis Comment le saviez-vous et que leur arrivait-il selon vous Those people who were sent for re-education, I did not know for sure whether they were sent to be killed. But if someone was arrested at the work site by Anka, we were told that that person was sent for re-education. And of course, I didn't know where the person would be sent to or where the person would be tortured. And It was the unit chief and probably the chief of the 50-man unit who, uh, who would know what would happen to the per person being arrested at the work site. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Avez -vous été témoin, avez-vous durant la période où vous étiez à Tramcock, euh, des cadavres ou des gens qui étaient en train d'agoniser Est-ce que c'est quelque chose dont vous vous souvenez que vous avez vu If we talk about my experience uh, during the Khmer Rouge, and especially when I was at uh, Pong Tok village, which was not far from Krang Tachan, 
However, it was very difficult for me to know where I was or which location uh, I, I was sent to. For example, I didn't know there were militia uh, units at Kratachan. One day, while I was uh, plowing a field, the, during the, the, the break, the cows went to eat uh, grass near a, a forest uh, near the vicinity of Krantachan, and I did not know what Krantachan was used for at the time. And when I went to uh, fetch the cows, I saw a man by the name of Jan, and I did not know uh, when he uh, was uh, killed. I saw the blood all over the body, Je and he was gasping for air. Uh, and tué. he told me to inform his mother. And at that time, the militia already went souffle, for lunch. De, de, and when I saw mère, him, I was uh, rather shocked. Déjeuner so I quickly gathered the, the cows and returned to uh, the place where I stayed. And I witnessed that uh, event personally. But I did not stay for long. Uh, how many people uh, were killed there or who were still gasping for air? I only knew uh, that uh, that person by the name of Chan was gasping for air when I uh, saw him. And through my knowledge, through uh, uh, what I heard from those Jiang uh, Khmerus uh, people, or the, the base of people, they said that we Le they could kill us easily just with a club of a, with a bamboo club, uh, we would be dead. Une de et que avec ça, on Je vous remercie. Thank you. Vous avez évoqué le nom Chan. Je voulais savoir si vous I wanted to know uh, if uh, ce Chan, mais you knew oui, this Chan, I suppose. Yes, because you uh, provided que his Chan name. Était un, un Was Chan a Khmer Krom? Chan was uh, in uh, my mobile unit Chan and he also uh, came from uh, Vietnam. Lui aussi venait du, venait du Vietnam. In, in Vietnam, we uh, live in the Khu together. Khu means in the village together. Au Vietnam, on dans and I Kou, knew him uh, since then. And when we returned to the Khmer Rouge regime, we were put into the same uh, unit. As for the uh, 17 Apri people, some of them were also put into uh, my uh, mobile uh, unit. For that reason, I knew uh, some of their names. And later on, we uh, were separated. So I cannot recall uh, the names of those uh, people in uh, my unit. But if I see them face to face, maybe my memory uh, comes back. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Qu'est-il What happened finalement? to Chan in the end? Chan, I saw him being tortured, but I didn't know the reason Chan, for his arrest. Although we were in the same unit or slept uh, next to one another, Nous we didn't know uh, when Nous someone was being taken away by the Khmer Rouge. We didn't know anything about the, the Khmer Rouge uh, policies. De leur politique. In fact, when we were together, they Et would en fait, not come to call someone, but ensemble, they would send a messenger to just whisper gens. or call Ils the person personally to, to go with the messenger. And for us, even if we were together uh, at night time, for instance, we si did not know exemple, if someone was being uh, awakened by the si messenger and uh, uh, went away with the, that messenger. Avec le messager. Merci. Thank you. Vous avez indiqué, en you tout cas, c'est ce que j'ai compris avec la traduction en français, que vous avez été témoin de torture, torture sur la personne de Chan. Est-ce que j'ai bien tortured? compris Est-ce que ça a été bien traduit Et si oui, est-ce que vous pouvez nous donner un petit peu plus de précisions
Bạn được xem nhìn đẹp chung hàng đào nhé. Xem. As I just stated. Comme je viens de le dire. I saw what happened to him, but I didn't observe the details or how many dead bodies were around him. I saw him lying in a, a in a pit, and the pit was about 20 meters long. And he he made a noise, and then he he told me. And in fact, if uh, if we believe in superstition, I thought I was being haunted by a ghost. But then uh, he called for me, and then I recognized that it was him, Chan. And if uh, he didn't call me by name, I would say that I would be I was being haunted by a ghost. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Vous avez évoqué you also spoke euh, about Chan en Chan disant qu'il était avec plusieurs corps. Uh, est-ce que j'ai bien compris Et est-ce que vous confirmez que dans correctly? la fosse où vous avez vu Chan, il y avait plusieurs Chan, corps there were several other, there were several bodies. Had a grim, a glimpse, and I saw some other dead bodies uh, nearby him. Aperçu, but as I said, I didn't pay Comme much attention, dit, and Chan told me uh, me, briefly, and then I Chan returned uh, quickly to where I stayed because I was uh, of, very devrais. afraid that parce I would be spotted peur. by militia. If that was the case, then I would be dead along with Chan. Je vous remercie, Monsieur Thank le Parti you, civil. civil Party. Le temps m'étant compté, je vais maintenant Since vous poser quelques questions time, questions sur un autre sujet. Et je voulais savoir si pendant cette période où vous étiez à Tramcock, entre février 1976 et janvier 1979, vous vous étiez marié if, uh, ou si on vous avait demandé de vous marier. Day the country was liberated. La while I was at Angrolier, that is Angrolier village, donc le village de the uh, commune chief le chef de commune organized a, a ceremony where ceremony. people were being asked to make a resolution. That On was what they called at the time. And I was a part of the, the group. Et je du groupe des But qui I was sick. So then my name. Uh, I, I was taken off the list Donc as it was a postponed for me. And about six or seven days later, the Vietnamese uh, troops arrived, troupes and then they all fled. And then I returned to my native village. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Saviez-vous à l'époque avec you know back qui then, vous deviez vous marier you were supposed to get married? Et si oui, cette And personne yes, était-elle aussi was this une Khmer also a Khmer Chrome woman? But, uh, yeah. President, uh, Mr. Civil Party, please wait, and Councilor Coupe, you have the floor. Um, thank you, Mr. President. Um, I object to the word uh, another Khmer uh, Chrome woman. It would imply that uh, the witness has said that he is Khmer Chrome. Uh, uh, Chrome, I'm sorry. Uh, what I understood from his testimony is that he was born in Tokyo province, uh, was a refugee because of the war, and then he came back to Tokyo province. I haven't heard him say that he was actually Kampuchea Chrome. So to imply by asking or putting the word another uh, Kampuchea Krom uh, person that is misstating the evidence, I would say. So I object. Ah, no. I support Mr. President. I support the objection by Council Coupe. And the question is a leading question. As the Super Party didn't say that he was going to get married a Khmer Krom woman. Thank you.
Je vais reformuler, Monsieur le Président. So que... uh, Saviez-vous à qui allez-vous être marié from my uh, native uh, village, and her name uh, was uh, Ren. But in fact, we didn't uh, proceed en fait, with the, the marriage as I became sick. Lieu, je suis and then uh, later on, the country ensuite, was uh, liberated. So we didn't actually uh, get to have a marriage ceremony. Donc, le mariage pas eu lieu. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Avez-vous assisté à des cérémonies de mariage sans être celui qui allait être marié, mais avez-vous parfois assisté à des cérémonies married, But that kind of a ceremony where people were organized to make a resolution, it happened probably once a year. And if there were two or three couples selected from our mobile unit, then the members of the mobile unit would be invited to, to attend such a ceremony. But uh, it didn't happen with the, rest member, with the rest of the members of my unit. Je vous remercie. Thank you. J'ai une, une dernière question. I have a last question to put euh, to you. Vous avez indiqué au fil you de votre témoignage que vous faisiez partie de la catégorie des Vietnamiens, of des AIU. Je voulais savoir si euh, les membres de cette catégorie étaient mariés entre eux ou pas nécessairement. Je voulais savoir si les membres de cette catégorie étaient mariés entre eux ou pas nécessairement. During uh, the regime, as I observed, the 17 April people and the, the Khmers who came from Vietnam were treated as one to due to a, a similar background, and for that reason, they could be arranged to get uh, married and to uh, make a resolution, and we uh, could not be uh, matched to uh, their group or the best people. Je vous remercie, Thank Monsieur you. la partie civile. So J'en ai terminé avec I mes questions, Monsieur le Président. Et je laisserai la parole Mr. à mon confrère, Lord Shanti. Je vous remercie, Lord Shanti. President, thank you. The time is appropriate for a short break. We will take a break now and return at 10.30. And court officer, please assist the civil party during the break and have him return to the courtroom at 10.30. The court is now in recess.